The Spanish imperial eagle is one of the rarest animals on the planet. On the brink of extinction, its last specimens live in the Iberian Peninsula. Here, she survives surrounded by strict protection measures. Its population is distributed by the areas where rabbits are most abundant, which constitute the basis of their diet. In the last decades, eagles have been helped where they had the most problems with feeding. Thanks to them, its population has grown to double the number it had at the beginning of the century. However, this recovery process has not been free from threats. One of them, perhaps the most serious, endanger the future of this valuable species. The disturbing threat took place in the province of Avila and lasted for two consecutive seasons. With this documentary, the incredible event, an unprecedented fact for the science of ornithology, finally comes to light. Nipalensis, when nature goes wrong. When nature is in balance, each species has its mission and fulfills its assigned role. There are rules that govern relationships and coexistence between living beings. Everything is in order. But when order does not exist, when disorder and chaos reign, problems arise, anomalies multiply. And then, anything can happen. At the beginning of January 2007, most of the pairs of imperial eagles that nested in the province of Avila were already managing their territories and were beginning to fix their nests. Some even strengthen their usual partner, copulating with their usual innkeepers.
that something strange was observed in one of the couples during one of the days of control. One of the specimens, specifically the male, did not have the typical plumage of the species. The female, however, was perfect. An Iberian imperial eagle by the book, with predominantly white shoulders, which is why she was known by the name of Alba. of strong bonds as both concerts spent a lot of time together and made it frequently. Ornithologists thought that Alba's concert was a young imperial eagle in the immature stage called straw, but with darker plumage than normal. For that reason, they call them, effectively, chocolate. But initially, ornithologists did not pay much attention to this. In the spring of 2007, everything was going normally in the territory frequented by these eagles. They all thrilled in their favorite hunting grounds. Located in a marginal area, it had a large population of rabbits, in addition to many other species that could become occasional prey, such as wild boars, foxes, partridges, and numerous small and medium-sized birds. That was quite the biological paradise where the eagles had their subsistence assured. But such a hunting location was not exclusive. Another pair of imperial eagles visited the place frequently. This was a neighboring couple which, in that particular season of the year, had three mouths to feed. On their part, Alba and Chocolate had managed to raise two chicks. 
When summer came and the eagles fledged, the differences between the two brothers were evident. They seemed to belong to different species. Because while one of the youngsters had normal plumage, the other one had a design never before seen in specimens of Iberian imperial eagle. And that was what set off the alarm among the ornithologists who watched them. What exactly was going on with this pair of imperial eagles? Not long after this peculiar sighting took place, a clearest-looking chick who bore authentic Iberian imperial eagle features was the first one to jump out of the nest. That said, he did not seem very determined to take his first flight. Together with his mother, he felt safer. Finally, she flew and left him alone, inviting him from the skies to feel, for the first time, the freedom to fly. When the 2008 season began, and all pairs of imperial eagles were in their territories, Alba and Chocolate once again chose the very nest from the previous year. But Chocolate was still the same rare specimen. Its plumage had not evolved, following the pattern of the Iberian imperial eagle. This was conveyed to the local authorities, and they decided to investigate thoroughly to find out what was happening with that pair of eagles. Meanwhile, Alba and Chocolate had nested, but this time, a single chick was all of their offspring. Well fed, just over three weeks old, Alba and Chocolate's only child felt the need to strengthen himself by jumping and flapping in the nest. Sometimes observed from the sky by other birds of prey, some as curious and stubborn as the red kite. Alba was a good mother and spent a lot of time in the nest defending her young from annoying intruders. As it grew, the chick spent a lot of time resting, perhaps bored waiting for the daily meal. Without having to compete with any other siblings, the chick took it easy and sometimes reluctantly, especially when it had not completed digestion from a previous meal.
The task of feeding the chick was Alba's obligation, who gave herself with tenderness and dedication, with great delicacy, like all good parents. It seemed that Alba did not appreciate that her only son knew how to tear and swallow prey by himself without being choked or without wasting the best bites. Very close to its nest, it coincided in the middle of the summer and in the reproductive conflicts with another one of the winged jewels of the Iberian fauna, a smaller raptor, yet not a worse hunter by any means, the booted eagle. It had made its nest in an oak tree, and much like Alba, its mother insisted that her offspring be well fed. At the end of June, when Alba and Chocolate's son was fully feathered, his plumage was practically a copy of that of the abnormal chick from the previous season. But in the nest, things had changed. The chick wanted to fend for itself, so it preferred to snatch its mother's prey and devour it alone. At that time, the genetic study of a feather from chocolate's natural mold collected under his nest revealed a mystery. Chocolate was a specimen of a steppe eagle, a raptor that has its breeding area in Eastern Europe and Asia, thousands of kilometers away from the Iberian Peninsula. Now Chocolate finally received its scientific surnames, Aquila nipalensis. It was speculated that it was a raptor that had escaped from a zoo or a falconry center. Finally, it was concluded that it was a natural hybridization without any type of human interference, since in 2006, several specimens of Aquila nipalensis had been seen entering the Iberian Peninsula through the Strait of Gibraltar. Such an abnormal behavior in migration was justified by ornithologists by adducing adverse weather events on the African continent. The union of Alba and Chocolate was a full-blown error of nature, but it was also a scientific event as it was the first time that a hybridization had occurred between two species of raptors that were geographically distant and so well differentiated. And like every mistake, it had to be corrected because otherwise a serious threat loomed over the Iberian Imperial Eagle. From a genetic point of view, the species was in danger. The scientific decision was firm. Chocolate and his offspring had to be captured, alive. But when this determination was made, the chicken were already out of the nest, flying free. A group of experts hired by the Autonomous Administration put all kinds of traps in the areas frequented by these eagles, yet they did not yield the expected result. Summer of 2008 progressed as the eagles were daily tempted with different types of prey, but they seemed to resist being deceived. And if that was not enough, other birds of prey living in the area were attracted by easy food, causing too much interference in the work of the trappers. Finally, after several months of hard work, the chick was captured.
15.2 Chocolate continued to fly in freedom and shortly after he was presumed dead or missing since at the beginning of 2009 Alba had a new consort. It was a young male Iberian imperial eagle, a normal specimen with perfectly characterized immature plumage which flew with Alba and worked with her to repair the nest. Once again nature solved its own errors in its own way. But after all, there were two hybrid specimens living in freedom. We refer to the chicks born out of Alba and Chocolate in 2007. And several disturbing questions remain in the air. Would these specimens be fertile? Have they managed to reproduce? <laughs> 